of tomorrow's conclave. Cardinals are getting where their say right now about what the church needs in a new leader. Well, we have live team coverage this morning. Jay may have a vote in this thing. I know, right? he's in and out. He's in the Sistine in Chapel. Center of it yeah. all. 606 right now. We do have some uh, developing news we want to tell you about a little bit closer to home this morning. Divers pull a man out of a car that was submerged in a Romeoville retention pond. CBS 2. Jury selection is expected to begin today in the federal corruption trial of Cook County Commissioner William Beavers. He's accused of spending more than $225,000 of campaign funds on personal expenses without paying income taxes on a portion of that money. Last year, a judge postponed the trial because one of Beavers' attorneys was sick. He is expected to testify. New at 6 o'clock. The CTA is holding a public meeting tonight on the Ventra card system that will be rolled out this summer. If you haven't heard about this yet, Ventra is designed to provide a single fare card for transit throughout the Chicago area. Closer to the conclave and joining us right now, Peter Casarella, Catholic Studies professor at DePaul University. We wanted to uh, talk to you, Peter, today about um, some of the leading names that are popping up as, as candidates for a possible pope because it sounds like they know what they're going to do and it's going to be quick, according to Jay. So the front runner so far, Cardinal Angela Scola of Milan. What can you tell us about him? They're right? new, they're on the market. There are several different brands that have jumped on the line with this, and you just, it, it like somehow makes your hair bigger. I'm with you. I know you're going to buy Vegan, some. gluten free, you can eat it too. Put it's it like all. all in one, right? <laughs> all Going one to stop diet? shopping. Yeah. It is 622. Well, an over the counter painkiller is now being credited with helping prevent women from getting a certain type of skin cancer. Women who take aspirin can lower their risk of getting skin cancer, specifically melanoma, by 21%. The American Cancer Society says the longer they take it, the better their odds. Five or more years brings a 30% lower risk. Scientists credit aspirin's anti-inflammatory effects. And green tea is something you should add to your list of things to do as well, or things to drink, I should say. It could stop the growth of the plaque that can lead to Alzheimer's disease. Researchers at the University of Michigan say that in labs, a molecule in the tea prevented plaque formation. Now they're going to test it on insects and next humans. Time now is 626. A West Suburban hospital worker is facing charges for allegedly sexually assaulting a patient. And good morning again. I'm Chris Gutierrez. I'm Susan Carlson. Thanks for being with us. Lots of stuff going on. We have an expressway shutdown. We're going to get to traffic shortly. Also, a final meeting for Cardinals on this morning, charged with sexually assaulting a female patient at a South Suburban hospital. The Tribune reports that Sinuit Martinez of North Lake worked at the Metro South Medical Center in Blue Island and has admitted to the attack. A judge ordered him to wear an electronic monitor. Prosecutors say the woman was assaulted in June, and lab reports from January link him to the crime. He was arrested on Friday. Today is the deadline for American Airlines to present its recovery plan to a federal bankruptcy court in New York. American has been under bankruptcy protection now since November of 2011. The airline is valued at $11 billion because of its planned merger with U.S. Airways. We've been following a developing story this morning from Afghanistan where U.S. troops walked into an ambush at a police station. An Afghan police officer opened fire inside that station, killing two U.S. troops and three Afghan police. Policemen. We will have the very latest developments ahead this morning on CBS This Morning at 7 o'clock. Well, here he is. <laughs> here he yeah. is. Yeah. I feel like we have to explain all these puns. CBS 2's Vince Jerry. Thank you, Kate. Thank you, Jay. Well, meanwhile, Catholics here in Chicago are praying for a new pope. In fact, there's a special mass at Holy Name Cathedral this evening at 515 in honor of the conclave. The Archdiocese is calling it a way for Catholics here to be involved in the process and to unite with Francis Cardinal George and the other electors. And be sure. Jury selection expected to begin today in the federal corruption trial of Cook County Commissioner William Beavers. He's accused of spending more than $225,000 in campaign funds on personal expenses without paying income taxes on a portion of that money. The Big Cat Sanctuary, where a 24-year-old intern was killed by a lion attack last week, is reopening today. Well, nap time isn't just for preschoolers anymore. USA Today reports more companies are allowing or even encouraging their employees to grab a little shut-eye break on the job. The idea is that a 20-minute cat nap can revitalize workers and even make them nicer. One New Jersey investment company even remodeled an unused closet, put in a recliner, a fountain, and a bamboo rug. That'll put you right out. It's nap time. That bamboo rug. That's our news at 11. We have more team coverage from...